Okay, this query here is about understanding the most used protocols in your network. And it's really simple. Take the links, take the amount of transferred traffic, sort it, pick out the pieces you want. Take the top ones. In this case, we're selecting the top 15 and create a column graph. Very, very simple. Hope you find it useful. See you for the next one. Okay, this query here, this is specifically looking at VNC and RDP traffic in our network. However, if you change the protocol uh, selection at the start of the query and replace the VNC and RDP um, with other protocols that you expect to see in your network, you'll get the same outcome, but for those protocols. It's a good query and you should have it in your library. See you for the next one. Which endpoints are talking to the public internet with the most traffic? And anyone who's just starting out on an OT security journey, um, yeah, you just about always find something that's talking to the outside world. So anyway, here's the query, here's the results. So what we're doing is we're, uh, we're looking at the nodes and links tables again, joining them together, and um, picking out the information we need to produce this lovely little column chart, which shows the largest talkers. Now you can see here that the uh, IP addresses aren't necessarily that clear in the um, in the column. So what you could do is you could remove the column from count at the end and you'll end up with a table result like this one. Okay, so this query here is about traffic, measuring traffic flowing to the internet. So let's say you're in an environment where you're using a lot of IoT sensors um, they are communicating on the public internet, uh, perhaps to some cloud service, and you want to know who's doing the most talking. You can use this query to do that. Also, if you change the second part, the where is to public equals true, let's change that and put in some to zones or from zones instead within the rest of your network. You get the same kind of output and maybe look at traffic flow around different subnets within your network. So uh, yeah, it's a handy query. It's quite useful. Anyway, see you for the next one. See you tomorrow. What traffic exists between two given zones within my network? And in this case, we're saying what traffic is going from my corporate zone to my production zone. Like I say, it's a long query this time, but what we're doing is we're joining the links and the nodes table together. We're selecting the information we want and presenting it into this table here. This query is all about detecting ICMP traffic or ICMP tunneling. Um, so what we're looking at is protocols, looking for a protocol that's using ICMP or a session rather that's using the ICMP protocol where it's active. So it's actually working, not closed, um, not being negotiated and whatnot, and where there's been some traffic transferred. And what you can do to make this more interesting is add an assert empty at the end, turn it into an assertion, let that assertion trigger an alert and have it alert um, when any new ICMP traffic appears on your network. This query is looking at links within your network and working out the number of Purdue levels that are being crossed um, for each link that's there. Now this requires that for each zone um, or device that you've said or you've defined which Purdue layer it's in. So it requires a little bit of um, maturity within your Mizomi Network's journey. Uh, but once you've got that information there, it allows this query will come back with a calculation of the, um, the number of levels being hopped and then order them so that um, you can address those links that are spanning the greatest number of levels first um, and put in some more controls around that. Or um, if you're happy with how that works and that's the way it needs to work, at least you're aware of it and you've, um, yeah, you can document that. In this query, we're looking at MITRE attack tactics. So we're using data from our alerts table and extracting the MITRE technique information, presenting it in this lovely colored graph here. And this information gives you an, uh, an insight into risk which may be present in your environment. And you can use this to build out a program of work to reduce that risk and improve your security. So this is a very useful query for looking at CVEs which have been unresolved for greater than a month in your environment. So what we're doing, we're taking the node CVEs table, joining it to nodes, um, and then excluding any public um, IP addresses that may be present. 
setting our date greater than 30 um, if you wanted it to look at a month or three months or, or whatever your um, your limit might be just adjust that part of the query you're looking for whether the resolved tag has been um, is true or not and then we're, we're picking the information we want to present in our table here really useful query well worth using <laughs>